everybody, Nick Norton here, Dr. Nick Norton for those who observe. And I was about to do something using Soundflow in Pro Tools to speed up my day's work and uh, decided that I would make a video of it for people who don't know what Soundflow is or who maybe have just started using it because it does come free with Pro Tools now, though not the uh, Pro version, which you need to make your own commands. Uh, so I thought I would massively slow down my day's work and make a video. Uh, I will put out there that Soundflow's not paying me for this, though uh, Christian and Kitch are awesome dudes, uh, and they are super active with customer service and the message boards and stuff like that to uh, continually improve the product. Uh, so thank you for making it, and if you do want to pay me or uh, anything for this, that'd be cool too. All right, let's move on. There is a referral link in the description, though, which I think gets both of us a free month or something, so go ahead and click that. All right, so what is Soundflow? It is a uh, piece of software for creating what are called macros, which uh, are just sets of instructions for your computer to execute, usually uh, by just pressing a keyboard command. You can have anything trigger any macro. Uh, so it looks like this. Here's a bunch of commands I've made. And what I am doing today is having it be so there's one button so I can create a marker that names itself something and selects a color based on uh, what button I've pressed all uh, in one go. So I'm chopping up a concert right now into individual pieces uh, and... I like to have things color-coded so that I know um, what I can delete and just blow through and do things real fast. Uh, so, like, here's the end of a piece, here's the beginning of a next piece. So I want to create a marker for each of those things. Here is some applause. You can see very clearly this was a classical concert. Yep, there's a break. There's applause for the next piece when someone walked out. Neat. All right, so the normal way you would do this, and the first thing you want to think about is what steps do I have to take, is to put an out marker here by pressing enter on your number pad, typing out, and picking a color for it. I like my out markers to be red. So we click OK. Uh, the sound flow way to do that, let's go ahead and delete this, would be to create a macro for it. So let's go to new macro, call it create out marker and uh, naming things are, is pretty important because you spend a lot of time searching for commands uh, when you're making new ones here. So let's click okay. And we are going to make the shortcut for this, the trigger command option O I decided that in advance, but uh, I know it's available on my keyboard. You can uh, click on the little keyboard here to see what's available. Right, so click keyboard trigger, I record, command option O, done, and uh, we want it to only work when Pro Tools is in the window uh, because uh, you can, for instance, use different keyboard triggers and macros for different software. Like I use this stuff to control my internet browser and my finder sometimes even. Uh, neat. Now we have that. Let's do the steps. We go add action. And this is like the non programmy fancy way to do it. I'm aware of that, but I'm searching for the action press keys. Click that and we press the enter key on the numpad. We then want to wait for the window to open. So this is kind of a cool thing I just discovered. Let's just open one temporarily here. Uh, is you can have it search for a UI element, a user interface element uh, before it does something. So if I click add action, oh God, this is gonna be some screen moving. Uh, why am I doing that twice? Great, uh, and let's look for uh, wait. And in here, wait for UI element. 
Now, it lets you, I thought this would take some coding, it doesn't. It lets you hit this little pick button here, and then you can just like click on what you want it to wait for. So let's wait for this window to open. And let's go ahead and delete that again. And now we just need to type a few things, which uh, is going to be the word out, and then uh, command five to turn it red, and then the enter key. So we come over here and we go add action. God damn it. All right, press keys and record out in the capitalization you like and uh, command five and enter. And that should be everything. Now we got to test it. So uh, just to make sure it's working, I'm going to change this color uh, so we can see it happen. And is everything right? Now that enter, Wade, type some shit, hit enter again. Let's try it. Command option O. Boom. Cool, right? Wait, why is it blue? Why is it blue? You do have to troubleshoot this stuff sometimes. Enter. Oh, because Command 5 is blue. It should have been Control 5. So we come over here. And... Ba -ba 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 -ba. This. Let's get rid of that. Record. Control 5. Stop. And then you can just drag it to the right spot. That's kind of neat, right? Uh, okay, let's try that again. Control 5. What the balls? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, man. I had a long night. All right. Uh, command option I. That's the in. Command option O. That's the out. Sweet. That worked the way I wanted it to. So now we can delete all this. And... Mm, mm, yeah, let's just do a few. Zoom out. Zoom in. There's the end of a piece. We want that to be an out. We want that to be an in. Let's find the next piece. This is where it gets powerful. That looks like an out. Yeah. Is there music here? Oh yeah, this piece started real slow. Cool. So we are gonna make this an out. And we are gonna make this an in. And then this looks pretty obvious. Yep, make that an out. Make this an in. So now you can really see like just how much time it can save you, even though it took a minute to set up. And uh, over time, you start building a giant library of commands that like only you know, uh, but it makes your work like stupid fast. So I'm into that. Let's see. We might need video to check this one out. Right, right, right. Um, that is out of focus video, isn't it? Okay, that is an out? Yeah, cool. Right, I just uh, kind of remembered I'm recording a video. So you get the idea here, uh, and I hope you all use Soundflow, and if you have any questions or want me to do a video on anything else, put them in the comments. And uh, yeah, click that referral link and also listen to my record. Okay, bye.